Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I hope all of you in a good health. Today we are going to learn about place value, digit value and partition numbers. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to state the place value and digit value of any number. You will be able also to partition any number according to the place value and digit value. Now, let's we learn one by one. When we talk about numbers, usually each number will consist of two values. First one is place value and the second one is digit value. What is meant by place value? Place value is referred to the place of each digit based on its position in a number. That means where is the place of the digit in that number. When we talk about place, place is usually referred to names so names you must remember we need to write place value in words means we need to spell it next one we have digit value digit value refer to the value of each digit based on its position in a number that means what is the value for the digit on any number when we talk about digit digit is referred to numerals so you need to write it in numbers Let's look at to the example. Example 1, I have a number here. The number is 2538. So, for this number, it consists of 4 digits which is 2, 5, 3 and 8. These 4 digits makes this number 2538. For each digit, it has its own place value and digit value. We will talk about place value first. So, the first digit is 2. 2 refer to place value 1000. 1000, you need to write in words because it is place value. So, you need to spell as T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D-S, thousands. So the next digit, the second digit is 5. 5 refer to the place value is hundreds. Hundreds in words, H-U-N-D-R-E-D-S, hundreds. And then, the third digit is 3. The place value for digit 3 in this number is tens. So, spell tens, T-E-N-S. And then, the last digit, which is the right digit, is 8. 8, the place value in this number is ones. So, spell ones, O-N-E-S, ones. So, as you can see, for all the place value, you need to add S, alphabet S, at the end of each word. S means refer to place value. If you just spell thousand without the S, that means you write the number in words. You not write it in place value. Place value you must add as thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Now let's look at two digit value. So for this number, for this four digit, which is two, five, three, and eight, it has own its digit value. Same with the place value. For first digit, which is 2, the digit value for 2 in this number is 2000. That's why we said 2000. So, to write this digit value 2000, you need to write in numerals as 2, 0, 0, 0. Four numbers. And then the second digit is 5. 5 in this number is referred to 100. So, the value, the digit value for digit 5 in this number is 500. It you write it in numerals as 5, 0, 0. And then, the third digit which is 3 in this number refer to tens. So, write 3, digit 3, the digit value in numerals is 30 which is 3, 0. And then, the last digit is 8. 8 refer to ones. So, the digit value for 8 is only digit 8. Write it as 8. As you can see, for the digit value, you just need to write the digit itself with additional of 0. For example, if it's 1000, you need to add 3 zero at the back. If it's 100, you need to add 2 zero at the back. If it's tens, you just write the number itself followed by only one zero. And then, if it's ones, you just write the number itself. Okay? Now, let's look at to the second example. Here, I have a number which is 4069. So, here, this number is made up from 4 digit which is 4, digit 0, digit 6 and digit 
9. So, what is the place value for digit 4 in this number? Yes, 4 is 4. 1000. The place value for digit 4 is 1000. So, we spell 1000 with S. Next one, what is the uh, place value for digit 6 in this number? As we can see, 6, digit 6 come as the third digit. 4, 0, 6, 9. So, 6 is the third digit. Third digit refer to the place value of tens. And then, uh, digit value. What is the digit value for 0? For example, in this number. So, as we can see, 0, digit 0 is come as the second digit. 4, 0, 6, 9. So, 0 is the second digit. Second digit is referred to hundreds. So, we write back the number itself as 0 and then we add another 2, 0, which is 0, 0, 0. Why? Because 100 means 5 digit for that number. Okay. Next one, let's see the digit value for number 9 in this number. So, as we can see, 9, digit 9 is the last digit for this number, the right digit 9 at the back. So, 9, the place value is 1. And then, if it's 1, the digit value is the number itself, only 9. Next one, let's look at to the example 3. So, for this example, I have number 8701. So, again, it doesn't matter what is the number, but if any number given, it must meet up with 4 digit, which is for this number is 8, 7, 0, and 1. So, for each digit, it has its own place value and digit value. As I told you before, place, val place value must write in words and digit value must write in numbers. So, for place value, we have 8 for thousands, 7 for for hundreds, zero for tens, and one for ones. And then, for digit value, you just write the number itself, the digit itself, with some more zero at the back. If it's thousand, then you just add three, another three zero, which is eight, zero, 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 for the digit value, eight thousand. For digit value, seven hundred, you just write the number itself, seven, and then you need to add another two zero because it is hundred, so it becomes seven zero zero. It's seven hundred. Next one for digit zero, as it is in tens, so tens must made up from two digits, so it will be zero. The number itself, the digit itself, with one more zero at the back, zero zero. And then for digit value one, it is in ones. The place value is ones, so you just write the number itself for the digit value. 1 is also 1, the digit value. Now, let's we learn about partition numbers. Partition numbers is an extended form of any number according to its place value or digit value and we need to use plus or add symbol. Let's look at today's example. Let's say I have a number here, 3258. So, from this number, we need to partition it, means we need to write this number in extended form according to its place value or digit value. For example, this number, we partition it according to its place value, it will be 3000, the number followed by the place value, plus with the second digit, which is 200, the number with the place value, and then plus with the third digit, 5 tens, the number with the place value, and the last digit, 8, is 8 ones. So, if we partition 3,258 in place value, it will be 3,000 plus 200 plus 5 tens plus 8 ones. Now, let's partition this number according to its digit value. So, we need to write the digit value for each digit first and then we need to add the plus symbol. So, 3,258, if we partition according to its digit value will be 3,3000 plus with 200,200 plus with 5050 plus with 8. Next example, I have 4106. Partition this number according to its place value, it will be 4000 for with 
thousands plus with one the second digit hundreds plus with the third digit zero tens plus with the fourth digit six ones and if I partition this number according to its digit value it will be four thousand which is four zero 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 plus with one hundred one zero zero plus with zero zero which is equal to tens and plus with the last digit six so it will be four thousand plus one hundred plus zero zero plus six next example we have seven thousand and ninety three partition this number according to its place value it will be seven thousands plus zero hundreds plus nines plus three ones and if we partition this number according to its digit value it will be seven thousand seven zero 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 plus with zero three zero 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 plus with ninety which is nine zero plus with three so as you can see if place value you just write the number itself with the place value and then you plus each digit if you partition this number according to its digit value you just write the number itself with the digit value let's say 4000 the number itself followed by another 30 if it's 400 then the digit add with another 20 if for tens write the number itself and then add one more zero and for ones only the number itself now let's we try to answer a few questions together to make sure that you understand this lesson question one what is the place value of two in number 3216 so as i told you before if it's place value that's me you need to write in words let's look at the digit two in that number two is the second digit after three so three two one six so two is the second digit second digit refer to hundreds so the answer is hundreds h-u-n-d-r-e-d-s hundreds that means place value question number two what is the digit value of zero in the number 4709 so we have digit value must be right in numerals so digit zero is the third digit after seven four seven zero nine so zero is the third digit third digit refer to tens tens if digit value you write the number itself zero followed by another one zero so digit value for zero in four thousand seven hundred and nine is zero zero next questions partition five thousand and twenty one according to its place value so again partition means you need to expand the number according to its place value or digit value for example these questions we need to expand the number given according to its place value so the number is 5021 so the answer is five thousands which is number five followed by the place value thousands and then you plus with the second digit zero is for hundreds plus the third digit is 2, 2 is for tens, and then you plus with the last digit 1, 1 is for ones. So 5000 plus 0 hundreds plus 2 tens plus 1 ones. Next question partition 7804 according to its digit value. So digit value you just write in numerals. The answer is 7000 plus with 800, which is 800 plus with the third digit zero the digit value is zero zero because it's tens so it must be consist of two digit and then you plus with the last digit four four is one so it's a single number so seven thousand eight hundred and four if we partition according to its digit value it will be seven thousand plus eight hundred plus zero zero plus four i hope all of you understand this lesson see you next time and Thank you.